So most of you probably already know how to build a cheap gaming computer. The difference between me and other YouTubers is that I'm going to show you the subtle tips that can help you recreate this computer for better and maybe even for cheaper. So the first thing you'll need to do is to buy a pre-built system with a quad-core processor for around $100. There are two ways to do this. One, go on eBay and search i5-2400 and start looking for the cheapest pre-built system you can find with that processor. I've talked about the i5-2400 on this channel before, but in case you don't know, it's a very solid CPU with four cores that clock in each at just over 3.1 gigahertz. The reason I search for this specific processor is because it is one of the cheapest ones that you can find in pre-built systems that still delivers excellent performance for mid to low range gaming. Also, if you can find a pre-built system with eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM in it, buy it for around 130 to 140 dollars or cheaper eight gigabytes of ram is a must it is the perfect sweet spot for gaming and it's also the perfect amount of ram if you're going to be doing some light video editing as well number two find a surplus store that police stations libraries and schools donate their old computers to. If you can find one in your hometown, it is best to pick up a great deal locally if it is available to you. In Las Vegas, there's a place called the Blind Center that accepts all kinds of electronic donations and they actually sell those same computer parts and components to recreate the funding for their program. After a little bit of research, I found out that the Blind Center primarily sells on eBay, so I called and offered to pick up locally, which actually saved me money on shipping. As for the size of your hard drive, you're pretty much gonna have to go with whatever falls under your budget, but you're probably gonna end up getting something around 250 gigabytes to 500 gigabytes of space. So now back to the RAM. If you weren't already able to find a decent deal that has eight gigabytes of RAM in the pre-built system, go on Craigslist or eBay and find eight gigabytes of RAM for 30 to $40. This is assuming that you got the pre-built system with four gigabytes of RAM in it for $100. Now something I need to say about people who are going to buy off of Craigslist is do not let anyone punk you into buying it for more than $30 to $40. If someone's being a hard negotiator with you, remind them that this is outdated technology. Always feel free to make up a story something along the lines of this is a computer you're building for fun and you're not in a rush to buy these parts whatsoever. At this point, most people should be trying to get rid of their DDR3 RAM, but if they aren't, Always stress that you are not in a rush to buy and you are willing to walk away from the sale if you have to. In my experience of buying locally off Craigslist, I find I get the best deals when I express that I am not in a rush to purchase any of the parts if the price is not right for me. Lastly, the graphics card. This is the tricky part, but also the most flexible part. You basically now have a budget of around $50 to buy any low profile graphics card that you want. I say low profile because some of you may have gotten small form factor pre-built systems off eBay or Craigslist. Those computers never have a six or eight pin power connector that you need to power a regular sized graphics card. Low profile cards do not need that external power source. And if you did get a small form factor case, they are always small enough to fit inside the most compact of spaces. I was lucky enough to find an MSI low profile 750Ti for $55 on Craigslist. It's a great card with two gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM with 128 memory bus width and clocks in at just under 1100 megahertz. I would be thoroughly surprised if any of you did better than that with $50 for a graphics card, but if you do, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear about that. Now, last thing for the operating system, all of you should already have a pre-installed copy of Windows on your computer, considering almost every pre-built I've ever bought has always come with one. However, if you didn't, go ahead and search on YouTube how to install Windows 10 or Windows 7 for free. I personally am not gonna show you how to do that, but if you can't find a tutorial, please feel free to leave a comment so I know to make that video in the future. Now, if we total up what all the parts cost me through Craigslist, everything cost me $175 for a very solid gaming PC. And now without further ado, let's get into the benchmarks.
So that's all I have to show for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, thumb it up, thumb it down, you know, whatever you actually felt about the video. But like I said before, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.